Sedcor is devoted back to the industry uh, to help nurture and, and bring some youth excitement into the construction industry. Uh, our primary mission is for branding uh, with construction in the uh, valley uh, to keep work here, generate work here, and, and use the qualified people we have here to do that work. When I started to gather these guys together to find common issues and concerns, education and a, and a new workforce came to the top. The Sector Construction Alliance is trying to facilitate that by going into various schools as in trade shows, uh, education seminars, this sort of thing, to let kids know that those careers are available. Construction around the world builds us the fantastic buildings, bridges, hotels, and, and amenities that we come to love. The business is moving faster, projects are getting built faster. In the industry, uh, we are continuing to grow. Uh, you know, we're having record numbers of people uh, alive on this earth, and we need to continue to build buildings, and we need to continue to serve them. There is going to be a huge demand for skilled trade workers in the future. And the reason for that is we have an aging workforce within the trades. So there's a big void of young people coming into the construction industry. Without a construction industry, it, we have a serious issue because those contractors are building public buildings, private homes, private businesses, they have employees who in turn spend their money in the local economy. Uh, there are going to be a lot of jobs and a lot of us are getting older and grayer and then we need these young folks to come in here and take over for us. Which leaves a huge gap and a huge opportunity for to bring in uh, really a new generation of, uh, in the construction industry. If you really want to go to college, I would never discourage anybody from going to school. But if you don't, consider a career in the trades. There were people who got jobs in the construction industry right out of high school that were making as much as, if not more, than what I was making with all that education. Really try to align yourself with a company. Uh, go in and, and talk to the owner. Uh, find out if, if they have an internship or a way you can get started working part-time after school uh, and, and just learn the trade. Get connected with some masters of what they do. The Construction Alliance, like many industries, just wants to make sure they have the fundamentals. Being able to read a tape, use a speed square, have some work ethic. To add, subtract, divide, fractions, those are all something that's used across the board. As employers, we're looking for somebody that's got a work ethic, that's gonna show up on time and wants to be there, that cares about the quality of their work. But also being able to use Word, Excel, those two programs are uh, something that I use every day. The big one really is just to focus in your school. Uh, really focus on the classes, math, uh, uh, any kind of drawing classes, uh, there's a lot of different things you can be doing in, in school right now that will help you obtain a job later. If you look at our economy here in the valley, we have two, two or three strong sectors, agriculture, service, and construction. Some of the largest construction companies in the world are involved in the Construction Alliance. So we have the capabilities to do anything. That can be done from satellite now where you look at elevations and figure out how many yards come off a job and how many yards need to go back on a job. Now have databases we can build into them. They'll tell us the cost of the wall and they'll calculate the materials for us. So they'll generate an estimate. So the person really has to know what those lines on the paper mean now. We're benefiting from the new technology which is enabling us to do our job better. The more skills you have, the better. If you have a broad range of skill sets, you're going to be the last man standing or woman standing. I can't describe how important it is to find out in yourself what your strengths and weaknesses are. Choose a career um, that you're happy with. Choose a career that provides you with what you seek. 
I think there's a, a lot of occupations out there, especially in the construction industry. Once you hone your skills, you can make a very, very good living. Don't overlook a career in the construction trades. 